What is your experience with the motorbikes? So I've been riding for about, uh, it must be 30 years now, long time. This is, this is my latest, actually the, the electric bike is my latest bike, but my latest ice bike is this one. And I've had it for about five years now, since new. Uh, it's a lot of fun to ride, it's a rocket, but it's not really made for riding on the street like the way people normally drive. You can take this bike and ride it very comfortably on the road. You can compare the Colter with your Honda when you're on the highway. But what do you see as advantages when you're riding it in the city? Oh, it is is easier to ride. You're 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 more upright. You can see easier than you can see on a sport bike where you're curled over. Don, you're an engineer, and you must following the news how the electric motorcycle started to disrupt the ice motorbike business. I just came back from Europe, uh, and I saw them everywhere in the cities. As we know, however, every new product is subjected to improvements. What would you like to be improved in this particular bike? I think the suspension could use improvement. But for what the bike costs, I think it's a good deal. It's certainly functional and it works well. But, you know, if you're going to compare this to like a $1,000 enduro bike or a $10,000 enduro bike, it just doesn't have that suspension. But... For riding around in the streets, it's excellent. Okay, and how far do you go on a single charge of the battery? Well, I, like I said, I never run it down to the minimum, but like I probably get like maybe 60 kilometers and then I'm about halfway done. And then by then I'll charge it up again back to 100% because for some reason I always like to drive around with 100%. <laughs> You know that you can switch the bike between three modes, uh, eco, normal, and sport. How do you usually ride it? I just leave it in sport all the time, yeah. Yeah, like in maximum. And, and to be honest, I, I don't really care about saving electricity. I just use full throttle all the time. Yeah. But uh, as a long time rider, you know that um, you can save the energy and extend your range by wisely using your throttle, right? Oh yeah, sure. You just control it like any other bike. Yeah. And the thr that's one other thing I have to say about this. I was worried that the bike wouldn't control very well at low speed, but it surpassed all my expectations. The thing can drive at almost zero speed, and the, the, controller, the throttle control is just excellent. It's probably better than my Honda. Wow, I didn't expect you to say that. Hey, Don, what would be your response to something I recently read saying that 40% of the ICE riders will give up riding motorbikes if they are forced to go electric? <laughs> what would you tell to this? this well, uh, I, I guess I'd want to buy, be buying all their bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. It sounds crazy, but, uh, you know, people ride bikes for different reasons. It's not because they have to. So, you know, yeah. maybe they're telling the truth. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but the, but to tell you the truth, like I like shifting gears on the bike, but on the other hand, it's good to get on this thing and just drive it without even think. Uh, well, I, I'm going to tell you, when they start to race electric bikes, the electric bikes will win. Yeah. And the reason is you don't have a gearbox. That's right. Right? Because now, if you want to win in racing, the trick is to be smooth. That's right. If you're smooth, you're going to go fast. And when you ride these things, what stops you from being smooth is shifting. Right. Now, of course, they get good at it, these guys. They're really good at it. Yeah. But yeah. when you watch them make a mistake when they crash, it's often because they miss a shift or they miss clutch or they do something like that. When they bring on high-performance electric bikes, that's going to be gone. Yeah. 